Back to Bud. I mean, Bud put on a hell of a fight, man. He wasn't being reckless in the beginning. He started off slow like he usually does. And when the time came, he just did it. And he cracked him with that, was it left hook or right? It was I don't a right know if it was on the way in. Southpaw? Yeah. Right hook Check coming hook in. Right. And, yeah, and yeah. then just caught him on that temple shot like he does with a lot of fighters. And it's really interesting to see it. But his distance and his range and his timing is just crazy. It's on another level. And uh, I was speaking to another friend of mine about uh, Bud. And his name's Aaron. Shout out to Aaron. Um, he's not impressed with Bud. You know, he what? keeps saying that Bud um, hasn't fought anybody big big enough and hasn't had that real like top-notch competitor yet he has a valid argument i don't agree and i and i told him like like i'm about to tell you guys and like we always discuss bud it's not bud's fault bob aram is a piece of shit and we're gonna say bob aram is a piece of shit in every podcast that we talk about and it even came out and you sent me a hell of an article with him just talking shit saying he lost he loses money promoting him it's insane so bob aram's argument is that terrence crawford should be doing more to promote himself Bob Aram is the promoter. That is his <laughs> fucking job. That's like going to a massage parlor yep. and the masseuse hands you a foam roller and says, do what you do yep. and then pay me afterwards. Yep. Well, what the fuck are you here for? Look, it is a different day a little bit in that, like, even uh, actors for us, you know, uh, our network will tell us, you know, to promote the show. And it's fine. Yeah, of course we're going to promote ourselves. And Bud does promote himself, man. He's on Instagram. He's uh, showing himself training. He shows pictures of this. He has hella sit on Instagram. But what else do you want the man to do? Besides start his own promotion company, and you don't want that. Bob Arum is the one that has promoted this narrative that he's just this mean guy that just bullies people. Terrence Crawford is hilarious. Yep. You guys should really go check out his Instagram live. Even today, he posted a video of him singing Alicia Keys. Nice. All her, all her hits, and he was butchering the shit out of them, yeah. and it was hilarious. Yeah. There's also a great video that I've seen to you like four times, and I love it so much, mm-hmm. with him talking shit to Spence. Yeah. And you really see the charisma that yeah. Bud has that they have not capitalized mm-hmm. on. His son is a fucking national, nationally ranked wrestler. Yes. They've never talked about that. Yep. Like, th- there's so many different avenues, and what makes people relatable and promotable, and what's put, what puts ass in the seats, and what bumps your pay per view buy, buy rate up, is building a character that's, right. that's flexible, that shows a little shade of gray, this side of them, this side of them, mm-hmm. this side of them, so people can get to know them and they can want support. Yeah. If you just push one narrative and make it some boring ass yep. caricature of what somebody would be, of course people aren't going to be interested. Bro, and Bob. Bam, to come out publicly and say I've uh, the amount of money that I've lost promoting him, I could build a nice house in oh, Beverly I'm so Hills. Sorry I could for do you, this Bob house. Aram. Heaven forbid you right. have the number one pound for pound boxer in the world. And, and, to promote. and let's be real, life's bro. so tough. It's a horrible comparing to compare or a horrible analogy to make as a rich man. I don't know how much money you have. I'm assuming you're a very rich man. Stop saying dumb shit like that, man. After somebody who just beat the man you put in front of him. I don't yeah. know if you thought that was going to derail his career and that was a big risk for him and then you didn't have to deal with this shit. Now you have to, man. He's proven every point over and over again. Get this man the fight that he wants, which is either Manny or Spence or somebody big like that. Stop being a bitch. Go work with PBC. Go work with Mayweather. Work with whoever you have to. Put your ego aside for somebody that you signed. And, man, let's be real. When you sign somebody, you're, you're caring for them, man. You're putting these, these guys' careers in your hands. And if you, if you have your ego in the way, that's like me raising my son to, to be everything that I want him to be and fuck whatever he wants. And if you don't do what I want, then you're just a piece of shit. That's all bullshit. That's all ego, man. And you can't be that way when you have somebody's career in your hands. And here's a novel concept. If you can't do it, let him buy out his contract. Yeah. That's what you did with Floyd Mayweather mm-hmm. when you couldn't promote him properly. Floyd Mayweather paid him 750 k yeah. and got out of his contract and became Money Mayweather yep. and started to promote his brand. Now look at him. If you can't do that, if yeah. you're losing money like you say you are... Why wouldn't you want to do the buyout? You're a scorned, you're just a scorned partner, man. You got burned, you realized that the person you had was great, and you don't want to let them go just out of fucking spite, and it pisses me off, man. And he's blaming the fact that Terrence Crawford had two bad pay-per-view buy rates on the fact that he's not he's not promotable. But who did you put him against? You put him against Victor Postal, who doesn't speak English, What's who it? nobody knew. Never seen looks, him before that. Who looks like Count Chocula. Yep. Yep. And you expect that to sell? Decent fighter, but it's not going to sell. I mean, if you were going to do that pay-per-view, I would have at least dressed... Terrence Crawford like Blade and had right. fucking, <laughs> fucking Victor Postal dress as Dracula right. and put it on a promotional something. thing. Something. Yeah. But you did nothing. And the other pay-per-view was Amir Khan. Well, guess what? Amir Khan had already been knocked out three or four mm-hmm. times. He's not the draw he was before. That is not Terrence yeah, Crawford's man. fault. That's your fault yep. for not promoting him the right way. The PBC does a great job of promoting their guys. Like, I, I always am brought back to this. 
Nobody knew who Keith Thurman was, right? right? But every time I turn on a Fox affiliate or any any station that's related to Fox, you see something about Keith Thurman when his fight's coming that's up. Right. One of the promos they aired was Keith Thurman. <laughs> he sitting in the park playing the flute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I remember that. And then he did acupuncture after. <laughs> and then he had a... Um, a meal from Sri Lanka because his wife, I think, is Sri Lankan okay. or something like that. Yeah. They promote, oh, he's a different kind of black dude. He's into different shit. And now you relate to him. You're like, oh, he's kind of cool. He's not right. your stereotypical dude that I'm used to seeing who grew up in the hood, which Keith did, but they don't push that that's because right. they want you to get a real sense of who he is. Yeah. And that's what Bob Arum does not do. He has no creativity when it comes to promoting fighters of color, right. especially black people. Yeah. Latinos is a little easier because they automatically, they run the sport anyway, mm -hmm. so their fan base is kind of built in. Yeah. But Bob doesn't know how to promote a black fighter, so give him away. And it's fucked up. It's like you said, because Bud is so damn interesting, man. He's a family man. He seems to love his kids and his partner. Um, he's just funny. I, I, he, to me, he's so damn likable, so I just don't understand why it's happened. So, uh, I'll just wrap it up by saying, fuck Bob Arum, like I always do. And, uh, what I wanted to ask you, okay, so, what's next for Bud? Man, I don't fucking know. If he fights Manny, wrong. who's gonna win, and how? Who? I feel like it's gonna be a tricky ass fight in their prime or in Manny's prime. I would have been I would have been a little worried for Bud because mm -hmm. the in and out that that, that Manny does speed. it just causes so much so many problems. He's man. like a rabbit, right? You can't yeah. ever figure out what direction he's going, what he's yeah. doing. Yeah, and he can punch hard on the move, which is really hard to do. Like both feet can be off the air, and he's kind of like da -da -da -da. and yeah. it's super fucking fast, and he comes with power, and it blows my mind every time. But Manny of this age. I don't know if he could take him. I feel and I hope Bud's going to be smart and just keep that distance and use that long-ass reach that he has and his timing, catch him coming in, or catch him the way Marquez ca caught him. So that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, what I think, I, I slightly agree with you in that um, I think Bud's going to win, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I think the key is not to keep him at distance because then you allow the darts in and out. Okay. I would try to keep him at mid-range for my hooks. Okay. So Which is his punch. Yeah, yeah. Terrence knocking everybody out with the hooks. So I keep him mid-range with the hooks. And then get him inside and try to wear him out. He's 40-something years old. Right. I would try to tire him out a little bit so those legs start to go. Yeah. But I do think it's a more it's the most difficult fight of his career, even right now. Just the way Manny, Manny handled or... Keith Thurman, okay. I think I think he'll give Terrence Crawf Crawford problems. I don't know, man. I think it's going to be a, it'll be a hell of a stylistic, interesting fight, but I don't think he's going to give him problems. And as much as I'd like to see that fight, I want to see that Spence and Bud fight so bad right now. Yeah. While they're still in their prime, and I'm saying that with an asterisk because I want to see how but how uh, how Spence looks against, against Danny. Danny. Yeah, um, and that's coming up in December. December fifth, yeah. December fifth, um, because it's gonna be a true telltale sign if he's the same fighter because that accident was fucking horrific, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy that the dude is okay. Yeah, seemingly. yeah. I just really hope nothing. You know, there's no lingering pain because he, man, he fucking that car went in the air and flipped a bunch of times. Yeah, man. And oh, one more thing, I was gonna uh -huh. say, like I was having an argument with some. Somebody because they were like, Terrence will knock him out with a counter punch. He's a better counter puncher than Who? Marquez. Spencer, man. Oh. Terrence Crawford will knock Manny Pacquiao out with okay. a counter punch because he's a better counter puncher than Juan Manuel Marquez, which I actually okay. don't disagree with. But people are overlooking the fact they're giving Marquez all this praise for knocking him out, which is 100% warranted. Mm. Motherfucker had 36 rounds of looking at Manny. That's right. So there's very little that Manny could have shown him that he hadn't seen already. Mm -hmm. Whoever fights Manny now doesn't have that luxury, right. so I don't think they're going to be able to land that shot because they're never. There's no sparring partner that you can bring in right. that's going to emulate Manny Nobody fucking Pacquiao. Like that guy's yeah. insane. Yeah. He's like the Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> yeah. Did three lines of coke. Like you, <laughs> you don't. You don't know how to prepare for that. Right. So, I do think it's an intriguing fight. I would like to see the Spence fight, but the problem is Bob Arum overplays his hand in negotiations every time, and I want to talk about this because mm -hmm. this is important. The the sport of boxing is very weird in that. The greatest fighter or the number one pound for pound fighter isn't always the biggest draw. So sometimes fighters and promoters have to take less money mm -hmm. because they're taking a chance on the ability of their fighter. And that's what Bob Arum has refused to do. And that's why Terrence Crawford hasn't gotten the fights he made. What is it, 40% that he's, he's unwilling to take? He doesn't want, yeah, he doesn't want, he wants to do 50 50. Did Floyd, you want to know how much Floyd Mayweather made against Oscar De La Hoya? Mm -hmm. 25 million. Sounds like a big number. Oscar made 55 mm. because Oscar was the draw, yeah. even though Floyd was number one pound for pound. So is your Sergio Martinez, number two pound for pound fighter in the world. When he fought Miguel Cotto, who wasn't even in the top ten pound for pound, he made a fifth of what Miguel Cotto made. Yeah. That's what a promoter does. You say, okay, well, you know what? We may lose a little bit on the front end of this fight, 
but I have the confidence that my fighter will win this fight and be a bigger star afterwards. Right. And so I take a chance on him because that's what I signed up to do yeah. when I signed him. And that's what Aaron won't do because he's a bastard. Bro, well fucking said, one, man. You're so fucking right, man. You have to be willing to bet on yourself and your guy. Yeah. Because, like, it, it, uh, again, you could get so much money on the back end, and then that next fight, you're the one. Yeah. You're the one, so you got to prove it. And, again, we always bring up Mayweather, but all fucking respect to him because he knew that shit. Yeah. He knew I'm going to walk through him and my career is going to take off from here on out, then I'm going to be the A-side. Yeah. But you have to take that. And if you're, if you're Bob Arum and you're old and you're stuck in your way, then you're like, no, 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 I'm the fucking man. I'm, my promotion company is it. 50-50 or nothing. You're just fucking up your fight. You have no options. Right. Terrence Crawford has no options for his next fight if they don't make Manny. Right. Who else is he going to fight? What are you right. going to dig Madonna up out of Argentina? Right. <laughs> He's probably got like four hot dogs in his mouth right now. Yeah. He's not going to be ready anytime <laughs> soon. Yeah, man. The thing about Spence is he has three other options besides... Freaking uh, Danny Garcia that he can mm -hmm. do. You have to realize that going into the negotiation. Yeah. If you don't make that fight, Spence can say, fuck it. I'm going to fight Canelo. Fuck it. I'm going to fight Porter during yeah. match. Fuck it. I'm going to fight Keith Thurman, who I hate, mm -hmm. which is weird. Spence yeah. said he doesn't hate anybody but Keith Thurman because That's he weird. feels like he's fake. Huh. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. That kind of took me back because Keith Thurman seems so likable. Yeah, He's just yeah. a goofy, earthy black dude. Yeah. He's kind of like a hippie. Yeah. I don't see why anybody would hate him, but yeah. So there's other options for him. So going into the negotiation, you have to be realistic. This guy can fight X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. So I can't ask him for a 50-50 split because my fighter doesn't have other options. Right, right. That's what promoters do. That's what good promoters do. Even Oscar De La Hoya wouldn't do this. Right. Like, you're an idiot, Bob yeah. Arum. You're yeah. seeing now. You need to be in a home somewhere. Yeah. You shouldn't have the number one pound-for-pound pound fighter in the world. You don't deserve him. Yeah. And the fact that you're saying, oh, he needs to promote himself like Teo does, like Shakur does. I mean, yes, they do do a great job of promoting themselves, sure. but they can't carry a pay-per-view yet either. Right. So... The fact that Terrence Crawford isn't a pay-per-view star isn't on him. It's on you. Absolutely. You are man. a promoter. That is yeah. your job. Yeah, man. Like, we can talk about this shit forever. And the last thing I'll say about it, if you have a business and you're the artist, let's say you're a, a fucking great accountant, you're great with numbers, you can't do your job and run the phone and man the phones and talk to new clients. You have to hire somebody to do that for you. Let the artist be the artist, mm -hmm. and let the fucking business people be the business people. So don't tell the artist to, to help you do your job. You do your fucking job. Let the fighter fight. Yeah, man, so it pisses me off. Yes, it's great that the, that the artist now wants to help promote a little bit, but he's not going to do the whole thing. Fuck you. You do your job. You're being paid to promote.